All right, here is the week three choice board for your MTA online. Um, we're going to be talking about how to prepare a budget. So uh, a couple of the big learning targets to compute the cost using specific appliances for a specific length of time, uh, mainly like electric and water. Uh, compute the cost of cell phone calls, text messaging, internet service, or cable television, and then create and use a budget check off chart. Um, so there is some extra support on here. It is through Khan Academy this week um, to get you through how to create a budget. Um, so Khan Academy teamed up with um, Better Money Habits, which I believe is through Bank of America to kind of talk about some steps on how to create uh, good money habits and, and how to you know set up a budget for all that stuff. So that's your online support. Uh, I'm still able to get a hold of me through Google Voice number, Zoom, um, and those office hours and my email. Um, all right, so your definitions. You're gonna have a new week, a new round of, of key vocab terms to look up. So it has to do with um, utilities, budget charts, uh, budget checkoff charts, different types of graphs, um, and then debt to income ratio is another big definition that we go over. Um, you could also do a discover, look at three different cell phone plans through three different service providers. You can do T-Mobile, Sprint, AT&T, or Verizon, any one of those, uh, but pick a major cell phone service provider that you could look up all their information online. Um, or if you want to compare and contrast the four major types of graphs to organize important data points. What are the benefits or the negatives of each graph and which one do you prefer? So those are your choices for the objectives column. Uh, for your activity, you got another worksheet with some example problems. Um, a lot of them are situations to determine cost of things. Um, so like this water park. I'm having a tough time spelling on this one. Um, Kilowatts per hour in a, in a beauty salon, cell phone plan, liabilities and assets, and then debt to income ratio. Um, create your own three problems about debt to income ratio, um, or you could write your news article based on the following chart. Um, this is a waterfall chart where your green um, is your increasing in expenses, and then your, your red is your decreasing. So if you kind of think about like right here, it starts um, your first month of January is at 500 because it's the first month that really is an increase even though it starts at zero. Then your next month in February, it decreases down to 200 and then back up in March to what looks like 450 and then it keeps increasing, decreasing. So it's almost going up and down like a waterfall. Um, could use a video to explain why you should create a budget. Um, this last one, the imagine, uh, creating a budget for an imaginary wedding. There's a lot of things in life that you pay for that are very regular, like a cell phone bill, car payment, rent, mortgage. Um, there are some major expenses that are not regular and it's just kind of a one time, it has its own budget as itself. Uh, so you can go online and look up some venues, photographers, videographers, all that stuff. These are all the things that you have to have in your budget lines. So you're just going to open up Google Sheets um, within your Google Drives. Let me see if I can get in here. Um, you just open up a sheet. Maybe I can do it through Docs. Yep. So you just open up a brand new Google Sheet. Um, blank one works totally fine. Or if you want to look and see if they have a preset for budgets, um, create budget lines, how much they're going to cost. Sometimes these things are going to be a per person cost, um, mainly for food and drink. Um, they will charge you for how many people will attend because that's how much they're going to be providing. So make sure you indicate that in your uh, budget if you choose to do this one. And then your three random ones at the end. Did it go away? Oh, I got to open it back up and do one. Uh, 
Okay, then your three mystery, um, create a school appropriate TikTok about coronavirus or about school. Um, go for a walk if the people you live with allow you to go outside and go on walks. Um, take a couple of pictures of the things that you notice. Um, I know some people in my neighborhood have done um, kind of like a nature walk. Some people have been putting stuffed animals up in the windows so that when parents take their kids out for walks, um, the kids can kind of look and say, oh, there's a, there's a stuffed bear in that house or in that window. There's a turtle or something like that, just to kind of get people out and to notice things. Um, or just write about what your life was like before quarantine, during quarantine, and what you think it's going to be like after this, whenever all of this nonsense ends. Um, write about four or five sentences about the things you miss, what you used to do, what you like or dislike about this. Um, so all that stuff is there. Um, this one is due Friday this week because we have school all day this or every day this week. Your exit slip is down there at the bottom. Don't forget to do that as well. Uh, been appreciating the feedback that some of you guys have been providing for me. And yeah, good luck this week.